It's great to be back here at Mont Haven. I remember when I was here, when I was 15 years old, I remember coming to the show here and how beautiful uh, the house was and the, the museum and being able to, to work with um, some local students here. It was just a wonderful opportunity, so I'm so glad to, uh, uh, to see Holly and Cheryl and everyone here. It's, it's so wonderful to be back. I'll be doing a, a workshop uh, with, I believe, two groups of students, and then uh, later on during the event, I'll be doing a type of TED Talk demonstration. Um, so that'll just kind of show why we do the workshop. I often think about how my work can evolve, especially you know, not just a pretty picture on a wall, but to truly say something that, um, that the world needs to hear or what I wish the world could see visually. I think that's such an important role of artists today, you know, as we kind of enter these unsure times, you know, whether it's propaganda throughout countries or whatever it is, artists have had the role to speak for their world. Um, and sometimes I think about, you know, if an alien were, would, were to come to this world and, and they were to see one thing, I think it would be our art, our collective visual image. Um, so I, I, I often think about that and what will it look like in the future as technology changes. I mean, that's a great thing about art. It will never be obsolete. It will always be relevant. Face values is a technique that we, a system that we've put together to create a statement of I am. You know, a lot of, a lot of the students and, and the kids that we work with, they're at a very, impre a, a very impressionable age. And a lot of times in their art class, they may not have the opportunity to create something that they cherish and that inspires them to continue to create. So this system is called Face Values. And, and what we do is um, we snap a picture of the kids and, or, uh, of a student and it sim we put it through a system where it simplifies between black and white and they're able to create their face and then paint on top of it and they have all this freedom to, to do what they like and um, it's, it's, a wonderful, it's a wonderful system because it's almost an epiphany machine. You know, I, I'm able to witness a lot of these, these students um, you know, see what they can create and it's an epiphany they had and they say, well, if I can do this, what else can I do? Um, you know, I, I believe the power of creativity can change the world as we know it. And if we can provide those opportunities for the next generation, um, it's only more art that we will have in the future. And I think that's something that's um, underestimated, you know, and, and different core subjects are, are kind of pushing out the arts and it's, it's the first thing to go. Um, so I think it's just as important as any other as any other subject if not more because it teaches you to to use a different part of your mind that doesn't need rules or guidelines it's completely creative and by using that it utilizes all of these different uh, you know problem solving and and uh, color you know color and all and structure and all of these things together that can truly empower kids to continue to create or to utilize it in different ways and um, being able to witness that is an absolute honor so I'm very excited to be to be doing that. <laughs>